Hey guys, welcome to Solo Dolo Sports Facebook page, more wild basketball, and uh, it's been a while, I haven't really done any sports content, I haven't even really played, did any real gaming, I'm not even really posting anything on Facebook too much, um, I got some news about the Detroit uh, the Pistons simulation franchise and how that's going so far. Um, of course, tonight I play uh, with the Titans, and we're undefeated at 14-0. We play the uh, Raiders at home, and we'll see. If, I'll see if I can extend that uh, our winning streak and see if we're going to go into that Patriot game undefeated. If so, I might have to do something special for that. That's really where my mindset has been as far as gaming has been on the Titans and the season we're having so far. But I also have been simming games with the Wild. And as I said before, the team, the team started out 1-10. And, and now we're 26-26. And, and we're about to hit the All-Star break. And I'm going to sim a few more. I'm going to sim a few more and go through more later. But right now, I just kind of want to get in this game with the Miami Heat. The Miami Heat, of course, is uh, our... The Miami Heat are, of course, the one of the best teams in the league right now, according to league standings. Right now, of course, Houston, the defending uh, NBA champion, is has the best record in the league. We're only nine losses so far in the uh, in the season. We're in the 50th, 50 something game mark, and they're still leading. But over there in the East, there's the there's the Heat, and the Heat are. Really, really good. They're having a really good season. So I thought that would be a game to get into before we hit All-Star break. I'm probably not going to do too many wild games unless, you know, we really, really turn this thing around. But right now, I just wanted to check it out, see how we do against a really good Miami Heat team, you know, before we hit All-Star break. And then, of course, we got the dog days, last days of February, March. And then in April, and then we'll see if this team can make a playoff run. And so far, I mean, I don't know. How far are we off the playoff run? Go back to league standings. We are, I think, 10th. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yep, 10th. We're 26 and 26, but... If the playoffs were today, we'd be like a, a game out, you know, because right now the Spurs have that eighth spot. They're 27 and 25. They have that eighth spot, and we, of course, are fighting with Phoenix for that. Uh, we're going to have to fight with Phoenix to get there. But right now, it's too early to tell whether we, not, we won't make the playoffs or not. So I'm going to get into this. And if you noticed... Uh, We've done a lot better. We get we had a winning streak before we lost to the Timberwolves, you know. And Garland is still putting up good games, and Harrell is still doing good in the starting lineup. We don't have Jabari Parker, and that's going to probably be a problem with us not having Jabari Parker. That's going to be really interesting on how the team does. I got Gilchrist, of course, in the starting lineup. Uh, I moved uh, DeAndre Carroll, Demare Carroll, to the second spot because he's uh, he's has he's on in in the zone and he's a little bit hot. And Terry is cold, so I reduced his minutes to ten. Um, Parker is out. Don't know how long he'll be out. I check it right now. It'll tell me he's out of bruised left hip, so he's day to day. He's day to day. He could be coming back any minute. He might be ready for this game because that's what usually happens. I get to playing the game and go on and start the game, and it's like, hey, the, your guy's fully healed, so you can actually play. We're gonna get into it with the Miami Heat. Come on. 
might do that. Forms. And of course, here we go. Yeah, a lot of my gaming has slowed down, unfortunately. Or fortunately, I don't know. I got the fire stick. I'm watching a lot of Orange is the New Black. <laughs> I've never seen it before, and I'm already in season five, so. I've watched a lot of Orange is the New Black. Really good show. Really good show. Um, and when you have a series like that and you get on a kick to keep watching it, you'll just keep watching it. So I'm all pretty much caught up. I'm in season five. About to finish probably season five in the next week or so, in the, during this week or so. But I need to get some gaming done too. I mean, I've been not a lot of... I really want to get Supercharger started, but I'm going to wait till after the, my season with the Titans is over. Let's get into it, guys. And thank you for joining us for this Valentine's Day presentation of the NBA. It's a matchup you're going to love, right here on 2K Sports. Alongside Chris Weber and Greg Anthony, I'm Kevin Harlan, the fourth member of our crew. On the sideline, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Face off here against the very talented ball club guys. This is a tremendous chance for them to put all their skill and talent on display. Hey guys, this is what I call one of those boomerang road trips. I mean, it's not long, but they'll have a chance to get some things done here. Let's check out Vancouver's starting lineup. Oh. Michael Kidd Gilchrist out there with one. Then there's Garland. Uh, we got then it's Montreal. And it's Evans in the two. So Harold may not have the impact now, that he usually has. Following the pass by Montrez Harold. Yep, it counts. The painted area, the drumming is a great thing. Oh. He finishes through contact like it was nothing. <laughs> Inside. And Harold. Yeah, it uh, the movement off the ball is good. I mean, and the pass to hit in the stride is even better. Here's Jerome. At the elbow, it's Drummond. And it's going by Garland. Alright. Here's Garland. This passes to Garland. Slammed up by Garland. Great teamwork, punctuated by a strong finish. A perfect example of how to run the break the right way. Here's a great put. Here's Watson. Here's Jerome. No good on the three. I went with it. Stolen by Winston. Oh, come on, man. That shot off. So Vancouver will take it the other way. In transition, here comes Vancouver. And it's blocked. Here's Vancouver. Oh, just passed the heavens earlier. Things it up off the glass. And once he got to the tear, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. He had a very little resistance, and he had to bring much faster help than that. Now, here's Garland. That one wide left. He found an open space from mid-range, just maybe brushing. He's releasing the ball. Oh. And Drummond throws it down. Wow, you gotta admire the aggression. Drummond leaving no room for error with a nice slam. Here's Garland. Outside, get Gilchrist. Get the drum with Garland. Now, here's Garland. Defense is right there. Shot clock at six. Releases from 15, yes. and Ken Gilchrist gets it to go in. Oh, it's crucial for Ken Gilchrist that he nails these shots. Always working with his family. Here's Jerome, and out of bounds as Vancouver gains possession. 
no clues for where that pass was going. That is a brutal turnover. Mm. Here's Vancouver with the ball. Garland gets the one. Hits the yes. three-point bomb. Yeah. He's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity for me. Here's what's wrong. Now here's Drummond. Conversation, this is the type of games you have to have. Yeah, they're the best team in the East, but I think that our team is good. I think we just had a rough start. And once I figured out, moved some pieces, you know, once you move pieces like moving abs to the bench, putting the air out the starting lineup, seeing what person works with how many minutes, and you know, you can figure it out enough to where, you know, you got good players. You just got to put them in the position to, to, to win, you know, put them in the best, put them in the best spots for you to win. And that's what I've done. So it's looking pretty good right now. We're not going to just uh, fold. I think we're a team that should make the playoffs. We made the playoffs last year. We're pretty much the same team. So I don't expect nothing less from this team. They're missing shots, which is helping us. And we're getting the rebounds. So things are going kind of smooth. Um, there we go. Gilchrist. Uh, tonight's a big night. Uh, definitely with that Titan series. Uh, it's pretty much occupied my whole thinking process on the whole gaming thing. And... Uh, it's the one thing that you're sort of looking looking up to and saying, man, I mean, this I have a chance to tonight be 15-0 and 0 with a chance to go to New England and get the 16-0. and 0. So it's a big game tonight with the Titans series. Um, I'm still going to do the whole, ooh. Yeah, I just had too many people down there. I should have passed it up. That's gonna be a shot. Nope, he didn't make it. Um, so that series has really got me, got all my attention and things like that. But as far as gaming, I've kind of slowed down on gaming, guys, to be honest with you. Um, got a lot of other stuff going on. But I've been definitely following this wild series 
and trying to stay on top of it because, you know, especially since, you know, season didn't start out good and I was thinking about just getting on to the off season and getting this season over. But if we can make a run and get in the playoffs after the rough start we've had, that's it's pretty good. It's pretty that's really, really good. Um for the Titans thing, for the Patriot game, if I am undefeated, I may have to do a special sort of thing for the Week 17 matchup against New England. Uh, that's going to be big time because we have a chance to make history and be only the second team to, well, technically, yes, yeah, the third team, you know, to go undefeated during the regular season. But, you know, but of course, back when Miami did it, Miami, the Miami Dolphins of 72 did it with a 14 game regular season. Ooh. Oh, that was a good steal. We are on them, man. We are on them, but we should be blowing them out, and we're not. So you, you never know. They can come right back, and they are. It's a good Miami team. They they're only have 14 losses. Well, really 13 losses. They're really good. And so I don't expect... I don't expect an easy game. We came out on them, and then they're starting to kind of creep back in. Come on, right there, Gilchrist. Don't just launch it up there. Oh, he should have just passed it to Garland. They're making their own mistakes, so we're still staying in it. Yeah, that's Miami's record. They're the top of the heat, man, as far as, like, the Eastern Conference. Really good team. And we're taking a timeout. We need a timeout because they're kind of mounting and coming back a little bit. That's still early. But, yeah, the Titans series has been heavily on my mind. I am going to post some things about the Detroit Pistons uh, franchise, uh, simulation franchise, uh, where the, where it's at right now and how things are going. I will definitely post that. So that's interesting. So that'll be interesting. Um, Demontre James career mode is canceled to further notice. I just don't get the fun out of it. Like I want to, it's just not been a really good, I haven't had really a lot of fun playing it. And I kind of know why. Woo! And the foul. And I kind of know why. The reason why is because, well, you know, with the franchise mode in NBA Live 19, there are sliders. But there's no sliders in career modes. So I can't make things that are dumb <laughs> make gameplay make sense where it's like doing different things so it just kind of it just kind of sucks to play that series right now so i decided to pull away from that uh jamel mccray is still going on um this series of course is still going on titans uh mike cobbs i need to do a mike cobbs episode we're still I, I I thought we would fly right through the season. I've kind of been slow on the seasons. Like I said, I haven't been really gaming all that much. Mostly because of work and the fact that uh, I've been obsessive, obsessively watching Orange is the New Black. <laughs> Fire stick, boy. It's a gift from the gods. But boy, does it just... It saps all things you want to do right out of the air. It's like... Yeah, I can just watch Orange is the New Black all day. Get in there, Carol. And he still made it. That's a bent move right there. And I'm glad I signed him. I mean, um, I don't think I did bad on getting some of the players I got. I think I got some good players. Like I said, I think this is a playoff team. I just think we need we need to come together and find a way to play a lot better. Right now, we're doing really good. We're really competing with the heat. Here's the free throw line for him in this one. Now the 
first one drops. So he gets them both. Right. Oh, not many I'll be back, guys. More steady hand at the free throw line on this throw. He the pass to here. Here's E. Fires the three. A rebound by Bitadze. Now here's Winslow. Over E. Here's Jones. Good work defensively by Terry. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. Excellent deal. Avoiding fouling, got in the perfect position to watch the shot. Here's E. Nothing out of the scoreboard for him. The pass to Kira. Takes it to E. Launches it. Oh. It's all in by the Heat. Dumb shot. Last minute shot to E. And here's Winslow. He dishes to Ingram. Get it out. He said it. And out of bounds as Vancouver takes possession. And a moment now, look at the year to year scoring output and how it has been trending for Warren. And, and looking at his offensive numbers from the past few years, yeah. he's around the league. They kind of figured him out. Uh, he's having to work a lot harder for his points. And he hasn't been coming nearly as easily as they used to. And now he yeah, that's why I signed him, because he could score like 18 points a game. He was averaging that. Now he's averaging well below that. Even they're noticing that. Which tells you where our problems, where our problems are. I mean, that's where our problems started. That's why our season didn't get off to a good start. It wasn't just him, but it didn't help. I mean, here he is, a player that's a high overall player, an 83, 82 overall player. And he produced like 18... To 20 points per game and now he's not even getting he's only getting half that i mean it's just he's just not have he just has not had a real good season he's really sort of been he's gotten better though he's playing a little bit better but he's not he's not the guy i definitely would have went into another direction if i knew he's gonna play as not as good as he has to start the season. It was, it's been really treacherous, man. But at the same time, Adams didn't deliver like he usually does either, which is why he's in the second rotation. Tell you another disappointing player, freaking Dean. You know, Jesse Dean was supposed to be one of those big players I was going to get that was going to, like, be a, a, like a star and. He won the dunk contest, and he seemed like he was going to be a star. And really, I don't know. I, don't, I think he's, he he doesn't really hasn't really had a great. He hasn't really proved anything. How y'all handle this? Oh, kick it out! Don't just shoot a dumb shot. Get it? Yes. One of those effort plays that makes a big difference in the game. And GA is definitely making a difference so far today. And Kevin, this is why his teammates respect him. The hustle, the energy. You gotta love him. Here's Ingram. It's in. It's his third field goal of the game. He's three for five. Oh, he's got a role in this corner. Take it on himself to guide their offense. Outside. He dishes up to Burke. Burke for the basket. Good job, Burke. One for one with that shot. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. <laughs> yeah, pouring it for him right here. He's trying to give the opposition no light at the end of the tunnel. The assist is the key to that sequence. So a great look to set them up. And it's Vancouver holding out to an eight-point lead heading into the break. And they've done a phenomenal job down low. So many other points coming right at the rim. Yeah. We'll return shortly. Uh, 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 
We resume our Valentine's Day broadcast. Glad to have you with us. And when you consider how Vancouver is doing, guys, what are your thoughts? I mean, offensively, I thought they did a good job of protecting the ball. And defensively, boy, were they disrupting. Yes, you yeah. great balance of efficiency and intensity. This is why they hold the early lead. Some more of it, just a little bit. I want a little more. But I'm so excited. He brings up the ball for Miami. Trailing here by eight. And now brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups. And Vancouver, who they've got. Steven Adams is out there with Kamari Carroll. Then it's Contavious Caldwell Pope, then there's Burke, and it's Dean in at the two spot. That's two bombs in a row from Aubrey. Oh, out of hell, this isn't an 
a good big bat. To crack. If they want to put an end to this run, they'll need to start getting back on people. Garland. 
Down to five on the shot clock. Let's it go from deep. Yes. Garland again. He's got seven points for the quarter. Coming off a big game, his confidence could be higher. The coach knows it. That's why they're running plays for him. They're giving him the ball and letting him go to work. And here's what the schedule for Ben Cooper is looking like. On Wednesday, they'll take on Kevin Love and the Orlando Magic. Then on Thursday, they'll head home to take on the Utah Jazz. Under 500. Loves playing on the road, but it does offer a good chance to see exactly what your team is made of. This team is going to find out a lot about itself. Over oh, the next Warren, week. no. The Heat trail by four. Bob Bear from Trump got a piece of it. And stolen by Harold. And the wide open shot. Four. The best of your yeah. is from Evans. Evans, 11 2 runs. This in this one. That's what you want to Here's see. We gave up the lead. Like Bruce, we fought. Again, turn it over. Mm -hmm. And here's a look at the numbers for him. That know he is. He's one of those uh, auto-generated players. Here's Vancouver with the ball. We're getting deep in this series. A lot of auto-generated players. Warren against Winslow. Warren. Nope. That shot off. Now the Heat take it the other way. To the inside. Ingram. He scores his sixth bucket from the floor with that one. He's shot the ball 11 times. Now that's how he needs a teammate to move on. He's scoring chance. I love that. Outside, Kit Gilchrist. He kicks it to here. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. Andre Drummond picks one up. Vancouver shooting their sixth and seventh free throws in the game. I'm all set. I said, man, if he's not the most, if he doesn't get any awards, at the end of this season, it's, it was robbery because Montrez Harrell is the, probably the biggest reason, other than Garland playing like a superstar, he's one of the biggest reasons why this team turned it around. Absolutely. That's why he's in the starting lineup. I don't even think it's a debate. The Heat trail by five. Jerome passes to Winslow. Here's Jerome. Vancouver pulls it in. Oh, Garland's got his fifth and done in this one. I hate to say it, he's dragging them down. Not a single bucket is Oh, Garland, sometimes he shows around to pass it. Is why he is such a respected defender. Yeah, you can see why he's established that reputation. Like he ain't got no fear, but don't go up against three guys getting the ball. Good rebound, Terry. Almost lost it. Seven 
first free throw is good. Vancouver making a switch here. He's checked in. Yeah, we got a minute left. Couple free throws, good for Ingram. Vancouver leading by five. We've got 108 left to play in the first half. What the heck? That's not what you're supposed to do. We haven't seen them be quite as aggressive driving the basketball, settling. Oh, swatted. He plays defense, man. That's really a good one. Don't expect it, but he plays defense. Boy, he gets to you. That's why I like him. I like you. Terry outside. And scored by Trump. Oh, In transition, here comes Miami. Ingram's running and slams up by Ingram. Whatever Trump is hustling like. Uh, I'm all stuck. Well, no, we'll keep it going. This I'm all, helps. I almost get the halftime show. Let's get to the fourth quarter, though. Four seconds left in the first half of basketball. Now he no points in the game yet for him. Nope. It's all in by the heat. The he shot. He's got his fourth rebound with that last one hit tonight. Uh, Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. For Miami, they've gone nine of ten from the line, so making the most of their chances. The first free throw is good. Yeah, you switch here. Why are you switching now? Seven seconds left in the game. Oh, free throw. It's good for him. That's good. Uh, before we... What am I doing? Just go ahead and then cut it out. Seven seconds left to play here in the second quarter. Caldwell Pope outside. Over Drummond. Boom! It's good from Caldwell Pope on the assist by Jim Lee. We got the lead. Not by much, but we got the lead. Says a can He's got three assists now. Can I do it now? This one. And can't. that's it for the first half of action. It must have been a very close game here. It's Vancouver. Can't send out. Over. They're up by three. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to the NBA on TV. Looking at Vancouver, getting what's your tip? Well, one place they had an edge was on the offensive board. They converted those extra possessions into points. Nothing is more demoralizing to a defense than forcing a miss and then giving up a second attempt. The offensive glass is going to pay big dividends for them. And over to Shaq, what do you think about Miami? Their three point shooting on the first half was atrocious. Look. Ugly, awful, nasty. It's not that they just miss shots, it's like they just keep taking the shots from the car. Hey, you! Whatever your number is, stop shooting the three! <laughs> <laughs> That's what I want to tell Bert. Pass cut. Stop shooting! And that does it for our halftime show. We now take you back to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third period. Yeah, hey, I wanted to skip the halftime. I don't want to take much more time than we have to. What sort of adjustments were discussed during the half? All right, now I can sell. So we're going to send to the fourth quarter. Let's go through it real quick. See if this is a game. See if we can actually. I'll be surprised if we win. I mean, because, well. That's how the season's been, and they're really good, but you never know. Close game so far, so it's down a little bit. I might have to jump in on the five-minute mark. The game gets interesting. Good start. This is a good start point right here. All right, back in the game. Second quarter, Vancouver 
Powell is out there with Mike Muscala. Then it's Jones. And it's Vitanze in at the three. That's the group of the four for Miami. Back to Muscala. Pocket six. Outside, Jones. It's Vitanze. And that's going to be a treble. He didn't turn it over once in the first half. All of a sudden, he's giving them one gift yeah. after another gift after another. You know, also, that's just good defense. Vancouver leading by three. Evans outside. Vancouver working the ball around now. Out to Evans. Oh, shoot, Evans. Passes it to Warren. Got it. Good. TJ Warren. And Vancouver leads by five. Fifteen points. And so I told you. Playing, playing better. Doji's playing better. Here's Jerome. As the watcher. Just four to shoot. And the Boom. by Evan. Good job. Good job. Guys. With the ball. Now guarded by Winslow. Here's Evans. Oh! Muscal has got six rebounds now in the game. He's done a lot of the little things to help put them in front. I mean, but his offense has not been there for the night. No, it hasn't. You're one of eight. Pretty bad. Pretty bad. The first one falls. This is as good as it gets from the charity strike here in the second. And he can't hit the second. That's a good throw right in this thing. This is that free throw though. Keeps this a two possession deficit. Good. The shot's good from Evans. Get inside. That's the awareness that Gilchrist has out there. Excellent at knowing where the open man is. Here's Jerome. Uh, ooh, how surprising this surprising this man. Carlin's got rebound number eight now on the night. Down low. Nice oh. shot by Evans. And you see that assist. You see that assist? Like that have simplified their effort today. Terrific ball move. Timeout call the heat. And then starting to send guys to the line way more than they need to. Let's get some good position defense going here. That should be the emphasis and get away from the sloppy fouls. Jordan player of the game, Darius Garland. Plain and simple, his scoring is what made him our pick tonight. Even when the D's giving him all their attention, mm. they just mm. have not been mm. able to contain him. If they back off him for one what a second, franchise point guard. Well, he needed a game like this, man. He's been struggling for a while now, but tonight he broke out of that slump in style. Let's go down to the sidelines. I don't think he's been over. slumping. And during that break, Eric's close to head. How many points he had? Hold on, I hate to break this up, but how many points he's got? 22 and 8, 2. Yeah. Solid. Some words for his team. I'm not happy with the way this game is going. He said they're getting used out there on the perimeter. Inside the arc, they're doing some good things, but outside, they're a disaster. Tighten it up. Then we'll see if they can close out on those shooters a little more effectively. From Winslow. Yep. So one for two that time of the strike. Vancouver leading by seven. Garland will pass to Evans. Oh. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free Smart throw. Smart thing to do. Get fouled. Now hit shots, get fouled, go to one. And he makes the first. And hopefully 
goes, good for Evans. And not a single free throw attempt in that first half, but he has been far more active since the break in drawing some fouls. Oh, yeah, he definitely bounced back in this quarter. And he's getting steals. Get in there, Evans. Here comes Vancouver from the yes. Every team looking to get easy ones. And yes. This. Where that's about is a high percentage of look as you're gonna get running the floor beautiful. Here's Watcher on that three off the mark. It's the look he wants to steal a tough knife. Evan dishes to Garland. To the middle. A block shot. Four in the bucket on the assist by Garland. Garland. Garland's got three assists tonight. Heck yeah. There's my remote. One. Not bad, dude. Um, I didn't. I had a little trepidation putting this episode up because I'm like, we're not gonna beat Miami. We're 26 and 26. We're a 500 team. We're playing a little bit better. But this team is clearly one of the better teams in the league. We're not going to beat this team. And we come out and, and to beat them in Miami, man, I, I didn't see that coming. But I was just hoping. I was hoping to see one of these real big performances from Garland and just see and uh, Harrell and see what they do against a really good team. You know, we beat the Lakers, you know, who was, who was also a playoff team. We beat them and we're lucky like we're going to beat the Heat too. One of the top teams in uh, in the top teams in the league. I mean, the best team with the best record in the East. So, like I said, it looks like we're a playoff team. I think we are a playoff team. We just have to win these games, you know. And if we make the playoffs, you know, I'll consider it a very big victory just for us to make the playoffs, considering how we started. And considering the fact that I didn't get a really star player, but I already have a star player. I got a star player in Garland. That's what this is telling me. Stolen by Winslow. The pass to B. Thompson. Good and the nice assist for Winslow. B. Thompson's got a bad down within single digits for the Heat. And taking care of the ball has been a problem for them. That's something they've got to fix. And while the defense has been good, a lot of these turnovers Woo! have been unfortunate. With anticipation on the field, he knows exactly where to go with that ball. There's Winslow. Vancouver pulls it in. Slow it down. And here is Warren. TJ Warren, 17 points, two rebounds, one assist, seven to 14. Solid. If he gives me that almost every night, he, he was definitely worth what I traded him for. 
He's playing like it lately. Evans, 11 points. He started off rough for the three quarters and then kicked it into gear in the fourth quarter. And he even got me some steals that helped us out. You know, Adams, of course, was strong down in the basket, getting rebounds. I see him make some power dunks. Really, really good. Gilchrist, of course, was pretty solid. 8.6 rebounds. Any little thing he can give me. Harold was kind of down today. He wasn't as dominant as he usually is, but he didn't really have to be. He had TJ Warren and Garland stepping up. Burke was awful. He plays like he's playing like that, and I start losing. I'm going to give him left. How many minutes did he Burke play anyway? Like nine minutes? Yeah, that ain't that much. Kawa Pope was kind of was off. You know, Carroll looked really good out there. Terry, of course, he got like these four rebounds. Not bad. Not bad at all. Team, of course. You know, we won the first quarter. They won the second quarter. Uh, they won the third. And then we won the fourth quarter tremendously. So when you do all this, you come. You usually come away with wins. Um, we're not a three-point shooting team much. They had trouble shooting the threes. Um... We, of course, really shot the ball really well. Points per paint, points in the paint, we got them. They had more fast break points. That's hard to believe. It was still one. Their fast break points was like 10. Wow. Their bench, I scored my bench, which is weird. Their bench, I scored my bench, and I still won the game. I, I didn't see that coming. Uh, rebounds are kind of close, but we had the defensive rebound edge. Um... They just didn't really hit shots. I think that was their biggest problem. They just couldn't hit a lot of shots. But if you look at these stats, I mean, it don't say that we won pretty handily, you know. But I'll take what I can get. Wild are over 500, and we beat the Miami Heat. So the top team in the East. So you take that, you can't beat that with a bat. So. That's going to help us before the All-Star break. Of course, I will sim past the All-Star break. And I'm not doing anything special with the All-Star break. I don't think anybody's in there for us. So I'm not really going to do anything special for All-Star break. Uh, game I might get into. Might get into this Baltimore Barons. I've never done an episode where we play the Barons. So that might be an episode I might do. Um, we'll just see how they schedule, how the team does during the rest of the season to see what games I might do. That Baron game might be a key game I might do. And, of course, we took care of business beating the Heat. We're 27-26, so we're still competing for that eighth spot. We're still competing for that eighth spot so we can make try to make the playoff run after starting pretty badly. And Jamari Parker is healing up. So, so far, so good. Anyway, guys, I'd like to thank you for hanging out with me for some more wild, for, uh, wild basketball. I'm going to play the Titans game today, later on. Play the Raiders and see if I can get my team to 15 and 0. And I might be playing something special for the uh, Week 17th matchup against the New England Patriots. So, guys, I thank you for hanging out. Let's go wild. So, don't go out.